Now we'll look at the case where you have to test several coefficients jointly. Now suppose this is a multiple linear regression model y t equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 x 2 t plus beta 3 x 3 t plus beta 4 x 4 t plus u t. So there are there are three variables in this model. Okay and you want to test this hypothesis that beta 1 plus 3 beta 3 equals to 5. So you'll form the two competing hypotheses. So competing hypothesis for this is that beta 1 plus 3 beta 3 is not equal to 5. Okay. Now what will you do is that that you can actually write this beta 1 from beta 1 could be written as 5 minus 3 beta 3. I can write this as this. I can substitute this here. Okay. Uh, let me just write it like beta 2. That will be simple enough. I'm sorry I'm changing it a little bit. Okay, let it be, let's not play with the constant term right now. So beat, in place of beta 2, I'll write it 5 minus beta 3 x 2 t plus beta 3 x 3 t plus beta 4 x 4 t plus u, uh, let's say it is v t because because the errors would change. Hmm. So let me just simplify this. It'll become beta 1 plus 5xt minus, sorry, 5x2t minus beta 3x2t plus beta 3x3t. plus beta 4 x 40 plus vt clear so I can write this as beta 1 plus beta 3 x 3t minus x 2t plus beta 4 x 4 t plus v t and I can write this as y t minus 5 x 2 t. This has been taken to this side. Let's say this expression which has changed is y t small y t beta 1 plus Let's say this expression is x curl t plus beta 4 x 4 t plus v t. You getting the point? So this is your unrestricted model. The first one, the, the model which you started off with. This was your unrestricted model. And once you put in the restriction, the way we had here, this becomes the restricted model. Hmm? This becomes the restricted model. You get the point, the restrictions that you have put in here? So what will you do is that you run this unrestricted model. Okay, so your first step would be run unrestricted model and save a residual sum of squares RSS UR then the other step would be run restricted model and save RSS R clear you form the test statistic in this case form F test statistic huh? which would be equal to RSS R minus RSS U divided by the number of restrictions how many restrictions you're putting you're just putting one restriction that is your 
uh, beta 2 plus 3 beta 3 equals to 5. So this is divided by 1 upon RSS UR divided by n minus k. Oh, sorry, n minus k. So how many parameters you are estimating in unrestricted, unrestricted reg regression? Four parameters, beta 1, beta 2, beta 3, beta 4. So it is n minus k. Okay, or in fact, n minus 4. So this follows f distribution with 1 degrees of freedom for numerator and n minus 4 degrees of freedom for the denominator. The third step would be that you look out for f star 1 degrees of freedom for numerator and n minus 4 degrees of freedom for denominator at a level of significance. That a could be anything, 10%, 5% or anything. And a decision rule would be, in case if this fc which you have calculated, okay, if this fc is greater than this f star, which you have got from the critical f by looking at the f tables, you reject h0. Clear? So this is your testing several coefficient, coefficients jointly. I'll give you one more example on this.